So let's scan this, guys. The thankful cornucopia. Because my scans are telling me, he, it's actually a megaversal holiday item for multiple holidays. Usually for giving thanks, the harvest. Basically, for holidays of giving thanks for the harvest or any type of thing, really. What I do is a lot of things change people or give abilities or an added form to them. Say you want your sword to be able to have a more thankful theme or a point where have a thankful form. Something that allows a new ability, a new way to say give and give thanks. It's not the typical idea of most something like this, but it's something that can maybe incorporate quite well to something new. Well, I say we can be quite thankful for Thanksgiving in the USA. Or in other countries, depending on what they celebrate, do you give something? This can help a few people for some things. As we study it, let's see what we can learn from it. Hmm. So far, from what we can see, we can see a different fruit inside. For the harvest, but also some vegetables. And we can tell it's a my question is how to apply to certain weapons. Well, from what I can tell, it typically changes them into something that helps you gain in battle or make out. It can also help gain the upper hand in battle, but it's more so to use in allies. For a Pokemon or a creature, it gives them a new form that is meant for giving thanks. Say, like a Braviary, it goes into a Native American. And look, it has something more of a Native American theme. You know, that of the United States of America. It has Native American theme instead of the bald eagle of the United States of America. No, it has a Native America bald eagle type theme. As we see it, we might just learn more and more to what might come and what might happen. Impressive to see and impressive to learn about this. Wonder what else we can learn from this, and what's my come of it? Oh, it looks like I'm running out of time. Yes, because it, it seems like he the recording is acting up. See ya. Bye.